Hi, James here. And today I'm going to have a look at a tutorial on using the curve deformers in Harmony. And these are related to the previous bone tutorial, except it's the other sort of half of the deformers. And they're yeah, really nice and you can do some really unusual effects with them. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a drawing. And it's not going to be anything special, we're just going to create a rectangle. And I'm just going to shape it the tiniest bit. So I'm just going to bring it into a little bit more of a point. And then I'm going to fill this with a colour. So I'll use red. You could obviously use any colour you like. So now I'm going to rename this and just call it arm or leg or whatever you want it to be. And we're going to go over here to our rigging tool. And we ha you have a number of different modes. The automatic mode, when you click the points, will automatically make bones. But if you click and then drag, it will create a curve. Like, And that's like when you're using the polyline tool. Unfortunately, I totally suck at doing that. So I'm not going to use that method. And I instead make it so that it automatically creates curves. So I'm just going to use this icon here to create curves. If you use this one, it will always create bones. And I find it's a nice way to do it. So I'm, gonna use, I'm just going to have one curve down the center. That's it. So now, if I go across to animate this, I can just grab get a form row around at the end of your arm and you can do whatever you like with it. So I'll just throw on a couple of keyframes just to show you how to do it. So, oops, I'm using the F6 hop key there instead of the F5, which means I put a keyframe on the end instead of extending the exposure. So what you want to animate is the deformation. So, first things we're just going to hit. F6 on this frame, turn animate on, head down to frame 50, and we'll just maybe bend it up like so. Let's grab this one, we'll make it a nicer curve. And there you go, curve done. And animated. It's as easy as that. Now we're going to just do one more. Because I did a sort of a rope example, I'd like to just do that too, so I'm just going to grab a line, throw it down the middle, let's make it black so that it's easy for you to see. And now we'll go and create a curve. So I'll hit one, two, three, four. Now you can see that it's not really set up. Our curves aren't pointing in the right direction and that's really not a good default pose. So let's head over here into setup mode and we're just going to fix these up. So oops, I don't want that one on. We need a transform tool on. So I'm just going to drag these out a little bit and put them straight down the center of the rope. The setup is where all of your animation is based from. So, we'll drag this one out. If you guys didn't notice my mistake before, when I couldn't move the points around, it was because I didn't have the transform tool on. Okay, so now we have them basically down the center. Let's extend our exposure and turn setup mode off. Now you'll notice that it's gone back to the way that they've these were set up initially and we've actually sort of got a wonky line. So we can just move these around to our initial pose now. The reason that you set them up along the line is it really helps with how the deform affects it. So, here we go. So now we have all of our points. 
and you can just grab them around and just as before you can animate each one so I could just throw animate tool on, throw down the keyframe go across the frame 50 or 51 and just move these around and create whatever shape you want to create as you can see it's quite a powerful tool the one thing is like now I've done this so if I put the other one back up if now you can see I'm starting to get a little bit messy with all of these deformer the bones or curves so if you these would be bones if you have bones or they're curves in this situation but if you don't want to see them all so I just want to say see the ones on the rope you just use this icon up here which is show selected deformers and hide all others and it will hide this one and you'll find if you're going to you know, create a character with all of these you're really going to you know, not want to have all of these on at the same time just to what, where you're focusing on animating so I hope this tutorial was useful and if you liked it you know, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and I hope you enjoyed it